Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be basically a review and a demo of the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. Um, I purchased this foundation at Walmart because I went to Walgreens and I couldn't find any of the... My phone does that every time, y'all. I couldn't find any of like the darker shades, um, really. So, what I did was I went to... Um, CVS and I saw that they only had Carmel so I was watching on Instagram um actually I was watching a YouTube video and I saw that um the return queen actually had it in um what's the name of this color right here cappuccino and I was like okay now I know they do have darker colors so I asked her where she got it from and um I think she answered in like her next video but by that time I was on Instagram and I seen um beautiful W-O-C-T TV she had um actually bought chestnut and cappuccino and I she had bought chestnut so I was like okay there's another color so I went out and I couldn't find chestnut so I picked up cappuccino then I saw that she had a beautiful one of a beautiful WOCTV had actually had chestnut and cappuccino so I asked her the difference and she said that basically chestnut was more yellow I tend to have a little bit more um red undertones um i don't like the way yellow undertone foundation really looks on me so i went ahead and decided to keep the cappuccino because it's a little bit more red now this is a little bit more darker than my actual skin tone but it will work it's just like a smidge darker you can't really tell once i put it on it does blend really really nice i've been wearing it in a few videos um now and I really do like this foundation It's very light and airy so let's jump right on into the demo and basically what I do is I prime my face and for purposes of this video I already saved time I went ahead and primed my face with my Sephora anti shine primer um, <clears throat> this is like my favorite primer to use I don't know if you guys can see there you go my light is so bright and now I'm going to apply milk of magnesia to my face I'm gonna take my earrings off I'm going to apply the Milk uh, Magnesia all over my face. And this is like a must have for me all the time because it really does block out any oil since I have such a greasy face. And I kind of try to just apply this really evenly all over my face. And try to blend it in as good as you can it will leave a white residue so if you're just starting out with makeup and you're wondering you know will it cover yes it will even if it does leave a, uh, as it dries you will start to see like I said like the white residue like here under my eye and here so um don't worry the foundation definitely will cover it so going into the next step I'm going to go ahead and apply this and this part of the video I'm gonna probably speed up so this foundation is very light it's not a very heavy um foundation it does not this foundation does not leave you covering every imperfection or anything like that as you guys can see i still you can still see my scar here um if you can really look you can still see my skin through this foundation basically the little dots um i can still see the actual imperfections of my skin 
this foundation is great for summertime wear it's very very light so I would definitely say going into the summer if you're oily um, you could either wear this or you could wear the BB cream but I, I I'm really happy with this foundation from Revlon I actually really like it it's very different from the Revlon color stay if you apply primer and um, moisturizer and everything you need to do to your face before you can get a very nice foundation this foundation to last very long um, it's just about a matter of how you apply it and the things that you go about it to get it to very, last very well. I can say for me, I can get this foundation to last about six hours before I see where it's, uh, you know, it's kind of fading away. Um, but six hours is good for me. Um, if it was, you know, and I can touch up throughout the day, which is fine for me. But as of right now, um, you know, if I was like at work or something, you know, then of course I would want it to last a little bit longer because work days are usually eight hours a day. But coming towards the end of my work day, I really don't care if my foundation is coming off because usually I'll just touch up with a little bit of powder and it's fine for me. Um, I do set this foundation and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that as well. I do feel like this foundation is like a very velvety um, kind of feel to it. Um, I don't know how I would say it. It's like a more of a satin finish, vel kind of velvety. It's not really a full on matte finish, but I would say that it's not like a, a dewy finish at all. And I would say the the shine or the dewiness that you do see, it's not because the foundation is actually dewy. It's because the foundation has some kind of like micro shimmer or something that's light catching to give your face an actual glow and i actually really really do like this foundation like i have not raved about a foundation in a while other than my maybelline bb cream that i absolutely love i like to wear all the time and the last foundation that i really loved was the maybelline dream nude air foam which i still use um <clears throat> but an alternative to me wearing my lancome i do love my lancome but this will be a great drugstore foundation i do give revlon two thumbs up for this foundation so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i do because i don't like this whole glowy look i'm not a glowy person other than on my cheeks it's cold, totally fine but in my face i love a, a complete matte look so i'm gonna show you guys what i do to get a full-on matte look if you like this doing this then set your foundation any other way that you want but this is what i do and as you guys can see, I'm dropping stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this video up. Or actually, no, I'll go ahead and talk you guys through this part. So basically what I use is my Stay Matte Foundation. And this is from Rimmel. It's just a, a, a pressed powder, um, translucent powder. And it's just a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I just take a brush and I take a little bit. And I just lightly dust this all over my face. Okay, so that took down a little bit of the shine for me. And then what I do is I take my mineralized skin finish. And of course this has shimmer in it, but it's not overly shimmer, shimmery. And this is the mineralized skin finish in natural and mine is deep dark. And I just swirl my brush in there. And I just apply a little bit of this powder. Now, I didn't use concealer or any of that because um, I don't really conceal a lot of my imperfections and unless I'm really going somewhere and this is just some everyday I'm getting ready to go out shopping makeup not anything that's too move that mirror sorry not anything that's too um, dramatic or anything like that I'm just hanging out today I'm not really going anywhere so as you can see this foundation leaves me really I think it leaves me flawless once I do everything it's a really nice foundation um, if you just want something light like I said so next thing is I'm going to um, I'm just gonna leave it like this because I'm gonna contour and all that good jazz when I get off camera but I will take a picture um, for you guys with the foundation just like this so you guys can see it and tell me what you guys think of it and how you like it um just leave your comments down below like i said if you have any questions definitely feel free to ask me i do think that this foundation is um 
reasonably, reasonably priced depending on where you go. Um, I do think that for the ten dollars or the nine or eight or nine, it's between eight to ten dollars depending on where you go. And I do think it's actually well worth it because I really do like this foundation. I will say that, in my opinion, you know, drugstore foundations are sometimes a hit and miss. Um, but this one right here, I absolutely love. I used to use the Revlon Color Stay in comparison to the Revlon Color Stay. Like I said, the, it's totally different. This is a little bit more liquidy, I can say. Um, and the Revlon Color Stay is liquidy, but it's a little bit more thicker. And this is definitely a little bit more sheer. Um, the color selection is okay. It could have been a little bit better. There's not a big, there's like a, there's not a lot to choose from. I should say in in the darker shades is more like um, caramel chestnut and cappuccino and that's it and what I what really want to say is not every woman of color fits into those three shades so I do think they should have did a little bit better on the color selection but as far as the product as far as the packaging I do like the packaging I do feel like it should have had a pump um, that was a, a big factor but I'm just now getting, I think ever since I had my Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam and had a pump, my Lancome has a pump, I'm more used to foundations now having a pump, be um, raving about it. Um, I do apply it with my e.l.f. powder brush, which is just a flat top brush, and I do recommend applying it ver with a brush. Um, I did use my Beauty Blender, which I do need to wash this thing, girls, it's all dirty, but I applied it with that and I didn't really like um, how it applied um maybe like under the eye if you want to really blend or whatever but i rather apply it with the brush so i would suggest you use a brush um to apply it and not like a regular foundation brush maybe like a stippling brush or something like this so yeah um i'm out of here james i'm talking to you guys to death but that is my review on this foundation if you have any questions leave them below also the lipstick color will be down in the beauty box so be sure to check out the beauty box and the information down below and I will see you guys in another video and like I always say it's not about how much it costs it's how you apply so keep doing your thing and stay beautylicious mm -hmm. bye